We're back with Floating Sandbox, but today we're going to be testing which ship can best make it over the shallow waters. And make sure you stay till the end, because I'm going to be choosing which boat I'd rather be in to survive. First up on our list is this ginormous cruise ship. So we're going to give it a little bit of a nudge here, and we do have a little bit of throttle action on. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, there goes the entire bottom of the ship. That's, oh no, the power. That is probably pretty important for some of the bilge pumps, and the bow section is going to be completely crushing right here. We have a little bit of splitting going on, but I think it might end up floating, maybe we're gonna definitely see and of course it's not gonna sink in the super shallow area we're gonna be putting it in the super scary deep end with this random shark and oh oh gosh yeah i don't know if any light boats were even deployed in this one yeah so i don't think i'm gonna be choosing this one because i'm sure we're gonna have some better survivors but maybe i might choose this one i don't know i'm kind of concerned if i would though okay this isn't the titanic but it's the cardboard titanic okay we're gonna launch it at it and we're gonna see if it survives it wait hold on hold on a second it's hovering over the surface i feel like this is kind of cheating a little bit but i mean it's working okay it's kind of going to a stop here okay well realistically i'm gonna be choosing this one but you know okay next up is a ship that will definitely probably hit this first spike here and we're gonna be launching it at it at around the same speed and oh yeah it's gonna be completely shearing the bottom even down the middle right here will we see it split though now i don't know if we're going to oh wow it's even hitting the bow section right here we have had the back part actually split off one of the amazon packages did end up falling off oh no and the propeller or the rudder actually ended up up stopping the entire ship that is one strong rudder and i think we're gonna even see this thing sink in the shallow end okay that's definitely bad but the, look at how much damage there is on the front dude there's no way okay it's kind of stopping at this angle right here we're gonna try pushing it down ever so slightly there we go and it's gonna be kind of crushing on the bottom with all these spikes here wow look at that okay so this thing definitely will end up sinking and we got another cargo ship on our hand oh gosh i did that a little bit fast too oh the bottom the entire bottom of the ship is gone oh wow this thing is really just not liked by nature well this thing's just completely destroyed i wonder if it'll float or sink you know there's possibilities here and there i don't know if this one's exempt from that but the lifeboat is currently underwater water is starting to fill up all the crew cabin areas this is probably where you'd be sleeping at this lifeboat could be deployed it's not underwater so you i think it'd be good and of course we're gonna see if it'll actually end up floating or sinking here in the deep end which i think we got our results oh yeah we got a carnival cruise ship i am totally banned from all the carnival cruise lines after all my videos on this so we're gonna launch this at the spike here maybe a little bit too fast there we go something like that will work and oh it might just bounce over it with the launch we gave it oh no oh wait what the heck that's actually really weird it, it, i was expecting it to completely like crunch inwards on the bottom i mean it is flooding but i expected like what happened with the other ships and it just drag across the bottom and destroy everything but it's just a couple of dots i think this thing's like really armored or something okay let's see if it'll survive we got this thing on full speed still it's gonna be hitting the bottom again causing oh wow is this jello i'm sorry i just saw a bounce it's like jiggling all over the place i really hope we're not testing this with jello because that might be a possibility Ability. let's launch it at it again see if we can make it over the final spikes here and it won't be able to oh no the carnival cruise ship did just disintegrate on us now we have the color magic here let's see how this thing can magically make it over the super shallow water and it is actually going quite fast so we're gonna see it has let's see four lifeboats one of them being an actual boat oh it almost barely just cleared it oh we finally we need to get a boat that can actually clear it this bike is really just engraving itself in now this thing is definitely sinking though the captain actually ended up flying out of the windshield here the bow section will start lowering here in the water wow this thing is just devastating lifeboats could be deployed so i would kind of i'd maybe survive this one because i would deploy a lifeboat and maybe if there's like a helipad on this thing i'd launch one of those off but we're gonna set this in the super deep end and we're gonna watch this thing sink and oh wow yeah this thing is not doing too good uh, the little area that the captain flew out of did let a ton of water and you can actually see the water just completely flooding up the hallway right now that'd be pretty interesting being inside of a ship while that happens interesting not fun though definitely not fun but yeah this thing is sinking i think this is where it's probably gonna stop at all right you guys know me this is my irl yacht okay let's go ahead and launch this at the spike so we have a helicopter two helicopters and a lifeboat on both sides of the ship this will not be an issue oh oh i thought i added more bilge pumps than that oh wow oh this thing just got decimated okay then the engines are destroyed this thing's wobbling all over the place no there's only one actual piercing um on the top compartment here actually oh wow my helicopter's not doing too good oh god okay this thing probably might sink over time here but it's kind of doing good here let's launch 
it at it over here and see if it can make it over the rest of them. Oh, yeah, easily. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It's just this one's just getting all the final bits of it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, this thing's entire bottom section is no longer existent, but it's still somewhat floating. Um, why don't they just do that in real life? No, we got some weight reduction going on here. I'd say this thing kind of survived. I would have escaped on my helicopter by now. Now we have our steel container ship here. We're going to be launching it. Not that fast at it. Okay, I think I don't know if that was the same speed, but oh, yeah, I don't know about this one, y'all. We are seeing some damage going on here. Oh, I see a split going through. You guys see it? Oh, it has just completely split. You know, it's still connected by like a little boomerang thing here. Oh, it's just ripping off the entire uh, siding on the wall right here. Oh, that was so awesome. We're going to set this in the deep end and see if that can actually end up dragging it down. Let's see. It definitely something should happen here and it's lowering. Okay, this part should float. We're going to see though. Wow, I think it will be dragging it down. I don't know if it's something still connected over there, but something really is connected. And here it is definitely sinking. Oh my gosh, would you guys survive this? And here it is calmly hitting the bottom of the ocean. Um, Okay, all crew and staff, you're getting a 25% discount on your next meal. All right, we have this random fishing boat here that we're gonna be turning on full throttle for, and we're gonna be engaging full throttle automatically. So I feel like that'd be about right. Ooh, wait, this is actually a good launch. It's gonna launch it upwards and maybe even bring it over it oh no nope it's definitely not okay um it did stop halfway through or about halfway through it a little bit of damage here and there you know it's only four or five bulkheads this thing has to float right oh wow there's like an indoor waterfall just completely uh leaking it over to the next bulkhead we actually have some of the water just filling up the hallways right here in the little rooms all these windows are passenger rooms by the way so some of our passengers are probably no longer with us but uh fortunately we do have an indoor waterfall service system as you can see right here that is so awesome well of course this thing's gonna be sinking we're gonna set it in the deep end because it will never actually end up sinking in the shallow area and here we go okay we don't want it to like have momentum when we set it down here we go all right now we're calmly sinking oh wow oh yeah see that's what i mean it cannot sink in the shallow area this thing is going down exactly like the titanic and i actually think it had the same amount of bulkheads punctured as the titanic i think it was like 405 or four or five not 405 that'd be terrible what kind of ship would have 405 bulkheads anyways yeah this thing's going straight vertical you could launch this lifeboat that'd probably be a little bit scary because just going straight vertical but it will end up completely sinking and hitting the bottom here momentarily holy crap it is dark down here okay so it has gone really far down the radio tower has been struck and here goes the bow section just completely getting disintegrated by the ocean floor and same with all the top first class compartments yep i will not be riding first class anymore for that reason i'm acting like i was riding it either way but now we have a warship here um the propellers are facing the wrong way let's just say we're going in reverse okay so we're in reverse right now as you can see the propellers are facing this way the front is on the other side and oh that's not good okay so that does look like we have a little bit of a striking issue here oh it's just sitting on the spike right here okay that's lovely yeah okay wait it might not sink though hold on we're gonna set it in the deep end here oh i hate when that happens dude these ships keep forgetting to seal their bulkheads because look we have a giant just insane amount of water filling to the next bulkhead and then the next one yeah this thing will sink hey look it's kind of like popping a wheelie though look we making a drive right now it is totally popping a wheelie wait and that's kind of stopping the water from spreading to the oh oh there goes the back of the ship let's hope no one was sleeping back there but it is stop oh never mind it's definitely spreading even faster but can the blimp make it over the spikes wait till the end of oh my is this jello i'm so confused okay clearly um i've never tested this blimp it's such weird physics what in the world it's like jello oh oopsies well i'm so Sorry, I got a little bit confused on what that was. Okay, way too fast. Oh, we even got some damage. Okay, I need to refresh it. We can't be bringing stuff that fast. Okay, we're gonna launch it at like this speed. Yeah, that's a good speed. Okay, uh, we're gonna totally clear it. Maybe, oh, wait. Oh, yes, no, we almost cleared it. Got about halfway through before it did actually end up striking. We've had a split in the center of the ship, and it's going to be hitting the bottom again, causing even more damage here. Boom, just like that. Another split. Wow, this thing is just getting destroyed right now. Will it end up floating or sinking? Let's see. And I have a slight feeling we will end up sinking. I wonder why. Let's just set it down, you know, go to the bottom. We have other ships to test here. And now can this random ship that looks like a toddler painted it survive? Okay. 
we're gonna be launching oh this thing's really hanging deep in the water this spike is gonna bring this thing to a complete halt here oh okay it's going up in the air okay that's probably the best thing that could have happened there oh wow is this also made out of the same material that that blimp was dude i swear we're getting builds that were made out of jello okay well we're gonna definitely test the jello -ness. this thing's really bendy here we go oh look at the bend dude if a ship bent like that in real life i would be a little bit concerned but you know normally when things bend that's good like airplane wings those things can bend but normally they only bend if it's uh, for a good reason so here we go uh, going to the bottom of the ocean randomly wow so cool and now we have the olympic i don't know why there's a zebra striping system on it but there is okay we're going too fast there we go that's a realistic speed and oh just a little smooch okay oh look at the oh it just completely caused an earthquake on board it even took off some of the propellers or not the propellers whatever those things are called well let's just say uh we made it over yep okay now we got the next run so here we go we make it over the final one maybe we'll choose the britannic or whatever this boat is olympic oh no oh yeah there goes the bow section oh wow that just really hurt and we're going like 10 miles an hour and we went to a complete stop in a ship oh wow this is like not as much damage as i was expecting but as you can see we're definitely seeing and here we are in the deep end about to see probably some people not survive light wait hold on we have a lot of lifeboats actually so lifeboats could be deployed right now and that's about to end here momentarily because we're about to do exactly what the titanic didn't go completely bow down with all these bubbles all the air bubbles and people's uh what's it called their souls leaving the ship currently while wow, this thing's going straight vertical and here it is hitting the bottom of the ocean in the deep sea oh that was a little bit fast okay these red particles I think might be people. Anyways, uh, let's go to the next boat. And now we have this random warship here that we have some planes on. Let's see if we can use the planes as an escape route here. Oh, wow. This is definitely not going to end too well. Oh, this thing's made out of jello. I think it's all wobbly. It's going to be piercing it again. And that wasn't actually too bad. Hold on. We're going to see if this thing can float. Okay, there's water filling it up, but I don't think this thing will sink from just one bulkhead breach. So we're going to see here. Oh, no. It's spreading to the next. Dude, they need to seal their bulkheads, guys. These things suck, kind of. I know this is a sinking game, but we do need some survivors here. Wait. Oh, yeah. This isn't bad at all. We could totally survive this. Like, this isn't even a lot of water. I could bucket out that water. Now we have the final boss. Uh, not really. Okay. So we're going to launch this at it. We're going to see if it can survive. Oh, wow. Great, great shot at it. This is going to be a pretty good speed. It's going to kind of go out of the water here. Okay. That's good. It's going to go back down. No. Okay. A little explosion there. That's fine. That's fine. Just make it through. It did not make it through. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Will it end up floating or sinking? We're going to set it right here where it's, uh, planes flew off the deck at i don't know exactly oh wow this thing's sinking so fast it's like filling up immediately over here i'm actually surprised the entire bow section um isn't underwater right now you know maybe they could have fired some of their ammo off making the boat lighter yeah this thing is really just not doing too good it's bobbing up and down oh here goes the bow section just hitting the bottom oh we've had a flex right there it just actually tried to split oh we've had a split in the front oh wow there's a whole bunch of crap going on with this thing slightly chaotic not gonna lie but that makes stuff more fun i'm not gonna lie also oh all these fish Here, let's slam it on the ocean floor again and let's see what happens and boom smack a dab right there and this thing is just getting completely destroyed here as you can see these fish are horrified and this thing will be sinking as you can see if you uh took your guess next up we have a lovely looking cruise ship here this thing's sitting pretty deep in the water so we're gonna go ahead and lightly launch it at it there we go that's an awesome speed and now these yellow lifeboats that don't look like lifeboats at all will maybe be put in use oh wow oh Oh, it's split. It's split, but it hasn't like completely split. It's also made out of jello. Uh, surprise. Wait, it kind of, it almost made it over. Here, we got to have a rerun to actually. Oh, the way too fast. Holy crap. If we would have hit it at that speed, that would have been concerning. Okay, rerun since we had a kind of an unfair game that time. Um, we're going to make it maybe. Oh, the splits just slowly spreading its way down. Oh, there's water filling the bottom of the boat. Okay, well, let's see if this thing can survive. I don't know after what we just saw. Okay, we cannot have it go down below the splitting point because it will let water in oh, oh it's gonna split come on it knows what it wants to do it wants to split and once we sink enough the split will go underwater and we're gonna sink like 20 times faster and the captain did end up flying outside of the windshield again oh my gosh i'm so sorry and here it is going over the splitting points we're gonna have some water particles starting to enter fill the front compartment even faster than ever oh my gosh the captain's quarters is actually letting water in right now i can just see a glimpse of it oh this thing's going down guys it's going down holy crap we got big things going on oh the split is actually spreading you guys saw it? It went down a couple more blocks. 
blocks. Oh, oh, yeah, there it is. All right, officially has split. It's still connected by a thread. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to make it seem like the Titanic Um, over here. Okay, don't break anything. Okay, so it's over here. Let's see if it'll drag it down basically like the Titanic in real life. So this part should go down. This part should try floating and we're going to see. All right, here we go. Will it be powerful enough to actually bring it down? It's actually bringing it in the air. Wow, that's interesting. And it will definitely bring it down here once this part goes under. And here that is filling up immediately. Holy crap. All right, this thing's going down now easily. Holy, this thing is swinging. It is the bow section is actually starting to bring it down. Oh my gosh, look at all the air particles just completely leaving the ship here. And it is going to be dragging it down, but I don't know if it will because this is just so much stress on one point right here that could be easily broken. I don't know how that's even staying attached. And it's at a dead stop in the center of the ocean here, not going up or down, a little bit down, but dude, that's crazy. Now we have the ship called the Bismarck. I don't know if we test this. This looks really familiar, but we're going to launch it out of here and we're going to see if it can survive. Maybe even again. I don't know if we already did this. And here we go. Just a little, little smooch right there. It's going to be hitting the bottom right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, it's wiggling. It's wiggling up there. Okay. I would say it made it through. Yep. Just make it through. And now time for the next test. I wonder if it's going to pass through. We're going to see. And it's just scraping the bottom just a tad bit, just a slightly concerning amount. And will it end up floating or sinking? Wait till the end to find out, even though it's definitely going to sink. Okay. I have a slight feeling that we will be sinking today. I'm just, I'm just taking guesses. Now we have the carnival glory here that we're going to be launching at this spot oh wow we're gonna hit like the first spike right here oh wow this thing's gonna get destroyed okay okay we'll definitely wait for this one here we go we've got a good old run at it oh no oh this is bad this is really bad this ship is way too big to be going through the shallow water here it has completely destroyed the bow section we're gonna be setting it over here and we're gonna see if we can float or sink and i have a slight feeling we will be sinking today but will we see it split in half i am seeing some bending not a whole lot but you know ladies and gentlemen we're gonna be closing the water slide as it will be underwater here momentarily and not just by our water we have on board that's making the water slide actually function but by the ocean yeah a little bit concerning oh there goes the power so the pump for the water slide won't work though smoke is no longer going out and we're about to be touching the uh ocean floor here momentarily oh what? it's just way so much it's just crushing it in obviously this thing sank and we don't have the time to be sitting here waiting and watching a boat sink even though we've been oh look at that we got a split okay hit the bottom already there we go it hit the bottom oh look at all the guts of the ship going out or those are the passengers i don't really know and we got our final ship here passing through oh my gosh these ships today are really not doing too well wait maybe you know it might work uh oh gosh i forgot about the second part yeah i don't really know about this one y'all let's set it in the deep end real quick yeah so this thing did end up sinking and next up we have the titanic you guys already know you've been waiting for this will the titanic clear this shallow water oh wow just complete explosion on board oh my gosh um let's just hope you are not a passenger of this that yeah i thought the titanic would do slightly better but that was pretty devastating there goes the bow section yeah we didn't need that anyways but i would say this thing did not survive not gonna lie if i had to choose a boat for this episode I'm going to be choosing the cardboard Titanic as it just goes over the top of the water. Uh, I don't know how, but it does and it survives. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what we should do next on Floating Sandbox. This was absolutely insane and an awesome test. Thank you guys all for watching till the end and goodbye.